Good morning, ladies. Welcome back to my channel. I had to start this like three times. My husband opened the garage door, and I'm sure you're going to hear the lawnmower starting up in a couple minutes, too. Today, I am going to talk to you about seven skincare or beauty products that I think are underrated. They're basic products that I don't hear people talk about, and they're brands that are just sort of basic brands that people don't talk about, but I think they make a huge difference to my skin, and I think they can help with your skin as well. So if that sounds interesting, I do hope that you'll watch the video all the way through and listen to all what the products are. If you haven't already subscribed, I would appreciate it if you'd hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, give it a big thumbs up, and share it with a friend. It so helps with my small channel. Thank you so much. So we're going to start talking about some products that I think are going to help you. Okay, let's start talking about some of these products. I went back in time before I had all the rest of my makeup on and I wanted to show you these products live while I'm putting them on. And these are products that I use on a daily basis. And I don't think people talk about them enough, how wonderful they are for your skin and different things that they do for you. So first thing I did this morning is I did wash my face really good, got off all my extra treatments and oils and everything from the night before. Sorry about my voice. I told my husband I said my allergies. I look at the little thing every day on the weather thing and allergy pollen is high. It's been high up in Michigan. I don't know why for the past week. So I feel fine. I just have constant sinus drainage. So sorry about that. But um, the first thing after I do then is put a toner on. And based on what you want to do with your skin, I think toners are underrated. And I think they are something that is a very important step in your skincare. I have two up here that I use on a regular basis, and they are both by CosRx. The first one is their AHA BHA Clarifying Treatment Toner, and the other one is their Propolis Synergy Toner. And I've talked about both of these before, but I, you know, I don't hear people talking about these, and these are such wonderful products. And I mix them. I'll do both of them because I want something that's going to clarify, but the Propolis in this, this is going to help hydrate but this one also has got wonderful things in here that are going to help hydrate your skin so what i do in the morning time and a lot of times some people just put it in their hands it's sort of strange i just sort of tip my head back and press it in i don't use cotton balls or anything anymore because years ago when they had the synthetic cotton balls it didn't absorb all of the product now they have cotton balls and you, if you put your toner on there, it sucks half of it up. And I'm not going to waste it. Then I will go in and I will put this on. And my skin is so dry. And you can see how fast it looks a little bit wet. It's going to just suck it up so fast. This is the number one thing that I think is underrated is using toners and using the appropriate toner for what you want from your skin. I want something that's going to clarify because I want something that the AHA and BHAs are going to help clean out my pores, but are also going to help get rid of dead skin cells that have been overturning overnight. Watch my face real good. And I put this on in the morning. I don't use this at night. And then I use this one, and I use this one morning and night. I love this because I love holding the hydration in my skin. A lot of times what I will do is I will use my Nera Pro, which I have talked about before, and I'm going to do another updated video on that, on how much I am loving that device. I cannot tell you. <clears throat> it is a non-fractional, non-ablasive laser that actually helps rebuild collagen. And I will tell you, my under eyes have improved so much. You may not notice it because in bright lights, you don't see as many of my fine lines and wrinkles that I have, but I do. But now, since I've been using it, my 11s are not as deep. My lines around here, I had a huge like sleep wrinkle from sleeping on my side, and I'm trying not to sleep on my side anymore, but I had a huge wrinkle there, and it is, it's like almost gone. I, I cannot speak enough wonderful things about the Nero Pro Laser. I would highly recommend getting it, and I know they have sales all the time. Like I said, I'm going to do another little short video shortly on that because in summertime they run different specials, and I do have a code for them. So, toners. Do not neglect putting a toner on something that is going to 
prep your skin for your next step. Your next step, to me, should be some kind of essence. This is the Beauty of Josan Ginseng Essence Water. This is another thing. Ginseng is so good. It's like an antioxidant. It puts hydration in your skin. And I've talked about this before. This is amazing to me. And these are all super thin layers that I am putting on. But just putting all these... You know what? I did bring clips up with me in my pocket. I'm dressed like a bum today. I'm sorry. <laughs> we have no plans in the heat index. I'm The day that I'm taping this, I think half of the country is in a heat advisory. So, let's say I've got like a tank top on and shorts, so we have no plans. Well, the one plan I do have is to try to finish up the video that I did before this. You saw when I was showing you the organization of my makeup and I went by my shoe room. I still have the pile of shoes in there that I have to get rid of. I got to get some boxes. My daughter came over and picked some shoes and I got rid of some of them, but I got to get rid of the rest of them because I want my shoe room back being pretty, my shoes and purses. So the next th that I was talking about is your essences or mist. And these to me are one thing. These are both things that your essence waters are going to put extra hydration, extra antioxidants, and different things in your skin. This one is by Causerex. It's a Comfort Ceramide Cream Mist. It's a Ceramide 6 Complex. This has got all kinds of different ceramides in it for your skin. You shake it up and it's the same kind of thing as your essence net. It's very thin. and spray it on just like you're doing your essence. This is going to put so many different things. The first ingredient in it is water, is purified water, because you want water is hydration. And then it's going to put different, it's got panthenol in it, and it's got um, glycol in it, and it's got um, ceramides in it, different kinds of ceramides in it. And ceramides help protect your skin barrier. That is so important. There are so many things out there. The sun, the dry heat, just so many things damage your skin barrier. When you're using like really strong acids or really strong retinol, that can damage your skin barrier. So you want to keep your skin barrier protected and ceramides do that. That leads me into my next product, my favorite moisturizer. This is CeraVe and I've talked about this before. I buy this in big tubs for my face. Not necessarily for my body. I use it on my body too. I have one for my body and one for my face. This is my daily moisturizer. And this, I just bought this time not too long ago. And it's almost half gone. And I will just slather this on my face. Now, I'm putting a lot on. I have super, super dry skin. And my skin is literally going to suck every bit of this up. And I take it down my neck. This is so super hydrating. And it's putting a layer of protection with those ceramides in it on my skin. And I think this is underrated. People think this is just, you know, like a body cream, a moisturizing skin cream or whatever. This is, and it's been around for a long time, it has been developed by dermatologists and it has moisturizing and helps restore the protect, protective skin barrier. It has three ceramides in it. So I got six in this one, I have three in this one, and it says it's for normal to dry skin. If your skin is normal or normal to dry, I would highly recommend this. And as we age, I know people that um, had oilier skin when they were younger, but after they went through menopause, you start losing some of that moisture. You not may you may not be super dry like I am. When I was young, I did not have oily skin. My two sisters had oily skin and they broke out. And I've explained this before. I really didn't have breakouts when I was young. Never had a problem with my skin. But now my skin is severely dry. So it is prone to wrinkles. And I do have wrinkles, deep wrinkles here and here. It, it doesn't show as much in the bright lights, but I do have them, and I'm working so hard at them using my Neuropro, using a red light therapy device, which mine is years old, and 
for Christmas. I think that's what I'm going to ask for is a new um, red light therapy mask. And I just got to do research because I know several YouTubers have recommended different ones. And I want to make sure that I get the best one that's going to do the best for my skin and make the difference on my skin. I'm all about using at-home devices and saving money instead of going someplace else. So that's why I do as much as I can with peels at home and devices. Save myself some money. I'm so sorry about my voice. But this to me is something that I think anybody can use. It is a little bit heavier if you know you have oily skin. CeraVe does have one that is made for oily skin, but it still has ceramides in it. Check that out. I can try to find it and link it down below. I'll link everything that I'm talking about here down below for you so they're easy to find. But if you have normal to dry skin, this is great for your face. It is great for the whole rest of your body. I have put a little bit of moisturizer on already a little bit today, but because I worked out and got ready. This is great for your skin too if you have severely dry skin. Now, talking about your body, and my pore container is like a mess. This is my CeraVe Essay Cream for Rough and Bumpy Skin. This is for your body. This is not for your face. This also has ceramides in it, but it has different things in it. I'm going to get my glasses on. It's developed with dermatologists with three essential ceramides, exfoliates, moisturizes, and smooth while helping restore your protective skin barrier. It has your salicylic acid, your lactic acid and things in it. I have, and I'll try to get up a little bit higher. I have sunspots. I have sunless tanner on, so I think it just brought them out even more. But I love putting this, and you can see this one's half gone too. In the consistency of this, it's, it's sort of strange. It's like a moisturizer, but it's a little bit, like it's got some clear barrier in it. I love putting this. Because your neck and your decollete show so much, you know, when you're wearing in the summertime, you're wearing maybe scoop necks tops or, or whatnot, and I'm just going to show you, it goes right in, but then this is going to give me exfoliation throughout the day. I'm going to put my sunscreen on. I don't have my sunscreen on yet. I have 64-year-old wrinkly arms. You can see they are wrinkly. But putting this on is going to help with all of that rough and bumpy, like cellulite and things like that, to make your arm look smoother and not as rump, rump, <laughs> rough and bumpy. I cannot tell you how much. And again, key is consistency because I don't use this a lot in the wintertime. My arms are all covered. So when springtime comes, I've got to like really work at it. So I just bought this and I'm, it has sunless tanner on it, I think. Been really putting it on my arms and my chest and everything just to try to get rid of some of the age spots and sun spots that I do have. And I actually, I don't mind putting it on my hands too because it's going to help exfoliate and get some of that roughness off of my hands as well. So that's a plus. So we've done four things so far. We've done our toners, our essences or sprays, our moisturizer with ceramides, and our moisturizer for our body that's going to exfoliate. Now, the next thing I'm not gonna actually put on for you because I am gonna go put makeup on and finish. I love, I mean, the big thing that everybody's talking about now is Scott Barnes thing with the Aquaphor under your eyes. And I tried it and I loved it. It works great for me because I have super dry skin. So some people it doesn't. But I love Aquaphor anyways. I love Aquaphor healing ointment. I love the CeraVe healing ointment. And I love the Aquaphor healing ointment for baby. And I know that sounds sort of strange, but these products to me, you don't, people don't think about them. It's not just for healing. Like if you, you're you sick, I know doctors now are saying if you get a cut or a, my husband had a little spot taken off um, his back 
that they thought was cancerous that ended up not being. But instead of band-aids and stuff, they told them to just put the aquaphor over it because it is good for healing. But it is so good for so many other things. I like slugging. If you don't know what slugging is, at night, after you put all your moisturizers on, I will take this, this, or this, and I've been using this a lot, and I'll explain why, and I put it under my eyes to really help put a inclusive barrier over there. And I've been putting it around my mouth. I have been really trying to put a barrier so the moisturizer that I put in doesn't evaporate out into the air. It is so good for that. It is so good for your lips. And they're a little bit different in color and you can see, well, they're not much different in color, but this one is a little bit darker. The one for the baby actually has lanolin in it. And I love the Lano Lips. I don't know if you've ever tried that. Lano Lips is a lip product and it has lanolin in it. And it is so super hydrating and moisturizing. It is wonderful for your lips. So I like to use this with on my lips as well at night because it's it's got your um, skin protectant, like your Vaseline and your Aquaphor and everything in here. But it also has, it says, temporary use for minor cuts, scrapes, burns, um, helps with chapped or cracked lips and skin, protect from the drying effects of wind and cold weather, diaper rash, chapped, anything. So it's good for babies and everything too. But I think because of this having, it's got lanolin in it and it's got panthenol and glycerin in it. It just is so super hydrating. I love putting this on at night after I put some of my moisturizers on. I will put it over my elbows to put that extra protective layer because your elbows and your knees and the spots that are just so hard to, my hair's just going crazy, so hard to keep the moisture in and that are so rough on your feet. This is something that I will put on moisturizer and a little bit of this on and then put cotton socks on. I can't keep them on all night. It just drives me nuts, especially in the summertime. But in the wintertime, it, the, this has just so many wonderful uses. I can't tell you. I, I My tube's almost gone. I use this all the time. I have a big tub of this one too. But because this one from CeraVe also has ceramides in it, I don't believe the Aquaphor does. That's why I use this one a lot at night to like slug and everything. This one... I can put it on during the day, like on my lips. I can put it on my elbows, different things around my cuticles and everything, but it's got ceramides in it as well. That is the one thing I would highly recommend CeraVe products. They're, re they're designed and developed by dermatologists and they are so gentle and I think they're great for any skin type. So get something like this. I mean, these are just great things for cuts, scrapes and everything, but they're underrated as a beauty product. They are so many uses as far as putting them around your nails. I don't have polish, I have hardener on my nails, but look at my nails. In the last month or two, I've talked to you about one of the things that I wanted to do, that was one of my previous videos, Bad Habits I'm Breaking. I have really been trying to work on my nails by putting nail hardener on them and putting things like this around my cuticles too. Sorry, I got, I got moisturizer in my nose around them to keep them hydrated. And so far, most of the products that I have shown you are super, super affordable. You, I mean, these are all basically drugstore pricing. And that, that just proves to me, you don't always have to go out and spend top dollar, $200, $300 for different products. Yes, retinols cost a little bit more. I am excited to try. The Ordinary came out with a new retinol to hide. And I am excited to go buy that and try it because tretinoin, because my skin is so severely dry, I'm having a hard time using that. I can't use it anymore. So I'm trying to find a retinaldehyde. I don't want to go all the way down to retinol. So I'm trying to find some retinaldehydes. And I am using one right now, which I really like, but it's a little bit more expensive. So I would rather, if I can find a good one that works, that's less expensive, I'm going to go for it. Next product. And I've got several of them here. These are facial oils. This is vitamin E. This is the Purador Organic Rosehip Oil. This is Sweet Almond Oil. 
These I have put in glass bottles that I bought. This is Now Brand Apricot Oil and Coconut Oil. I love using facial oils. And I did a video on um, castor oil, and I am loving doing that. I do it at night. And I will mix it with some of these, with one of these, because these are great carrier oils. And they're so underrated. Vitamin E is such a great antioxidant. Vitamin E, it says, for anti-aging, stretch smarts, wrinkles, fine lines, scars. It promotes skin elast elasticity, even skin tone, radiance, youthful looking skin. Vitamin E is so great for your skin. And not everybody can put their skin as oily and they can't use this. And I understand that these oils may not work for everyone. I know um, Shirley from Shirley's Box of Up. Um, chocolates. She uses the sweet almond oil like to help clean up under her eyes when she um, does her makeup and everything that leaves a little bit so it hydrates under your eyes. I use this vitamin E. I use a lot of these in the wintertime over my moisturizer that I have just put on. I will put oil on. I will do that. I do it sometimes in the summertime too because my skin is so dry. Most of the time I use it at night, but let me tell you by putting that on and then I give it time to soak in a little bit before I go to bed so I don't get oil all over everything. But these are great. And I, I try to get dark bottles, all of these. This one is plastic, so I want to get a different one. All of the rest of these are glass. It's best to buy your oils in glass bottles. My Now products weren't, so I right away went out and got ordered these off of Amazon, these pumps and everything. So you can put them on there. But all of these are great carrier oils, so they work well with like if you're using your um, castor oil or I've started using sesame oil. I like that too. There are so many different things that oils are so good for your face, your body, your nails, I, your feet, everything. And I think they're underrated. You know, people say, oh, vitamin E oil, who's going to get vitamin What am I going to use? Rosehip seed oil. And it's the same thing. This one, it says, restore, renew, and rejuvenate for flawless skin, head to toe. And it's true. You can use any of these natural, and I I'd always recommend getting um, hexane-free cold press oils if you possibly can, because they're going to be in their natural state, and they're going to have all of their antioxidants and vitamins in them that you're going to need. So I would definitely recommend getting these. Not all of these. I mean, these are just a sample of some that I've got. I've got my castor oil and I've got different ones and everything. I just brought up some to show you. I like the Puridor brand. I like the Now brand. My castor oil, I don't remember the brand offhand, but that was the best brand that I could find. But I just, I would not be without these. Winter, summer, and yes, vitamin E. It's yellow. It's sort of slimy. But you know what? And my skin, you're going to say, wow, that's shiny. Give it a little bit of time. It'll soak right in and I will not have a problem. The last product we're going to talk about is sunscreen. But it's not just any sunscreen. You know, everyone's always talking about putting sunscreen on, and, and I have a lot. I love a lot of the Asian sunscreens, but most of them aren't tinted. And I love tinted sunscreens. And I don't care if my sunscreens are physical or chemical. I really don't have a problem. I do like physical because they work immediately. They put a physical barrier on, so they work immediately. Chemical ones, you have to put them on and then allow extra time, which is no big deal to me because in the morning I'll put them on and then I finish my makeup and I've got plenty of time. You need about 20 minutes for it to soak in. But I just watched not too long ago um, a video, a YouTube video by a dermatologist, and they were talking about tinted sunscreens versus non-tinted, like in your physical or even your chemical. Tinted sunscreens have iron oxide, and iron oxide actually helps when the sun's coming down prevent age spots from coming up. So if you have a choice of buying like this, this is one of my favorite tinted ones, Dermatology. They have the broad spectrum that's not tinted and they have the tinted. I will always, I have both, but now that I know that the tinted ones normally have iron oxide that's going to help prevent me from getting more sunspots and age spots on my skin, 
I'm going to go for the tinted. This is one of my favorites. I've talked to you before. I love the CeraVe. It's tinted. It's not like a major tint, but when they're physical sunscreens, it's nice to have the tint in it. And CeraVe, again, it's got your ceramides in it, so it's going to protect your skin barrier. Australian Gold is another good one. I had the dark. I finally went out. I had the medium to tan. I went out and got the light. I just purchased this light one. So if I don't have a lot of um, sunless tanner on my body, I don't want to use the dark one. And a lot of times what I do is I will mix these two. One's 50, one's a 30. Because this one, this one's a little bit light. This one gives a little bit of depth if I do have a sunless tanner on. I love my dermatology one. But those are the ones that I like to put on. Now you can see my skin isn't quite as shiny as it was because it's already soaking in. But, and you can see, when my monitor, this looks yellow. It's actually not yellow, but. <laughs> I love using tinted sunscreens for more reasons than not. One of the reasons is on some days, that's all I need. Because some tinted sunscreens actually have enough coverage in them and yes it looks shiny but it's not going to stay shiny and then I'm going to put a little bit because I want to mix a little bit of the darker one just a small amount of this because I do have sunless tanner on and I am going to be reapplying it later on today so I'm going to be even darker Now I won't put I won't put the colors. Well, I got a little bit on here. I guess I could put a little bit of color on my ear. But I will put regular sunscreen on the rest of my body. But because I wanted to show you some of the moisturizers, I don't have my sunscreen all over my body yet. I am going to run down and do that once we're all done with this. But this is my number seven one. I would highly recommend getting tinted sunscreens. You know, everyone's out there talking about all the great sunscreens, and there are wonderful sunscreens out there. And, you know, in the wintertime, when you're not out for a long time, or days even in the summer when you're not out for a real long time, regular sunscreens. And I love, I love a lot of my K-Beauty or Asian sunscreens that are SPF 50, PA++++. Love them. Haro Haro, um, Beauty of Joseon. I love their sunscreens. And I will wear them a lot because I do. I work all day, so... I will put those on if it's like during the week. I will use those. I, use, I go alternate with all my sunscreens, but I will use those if I know I'm not going to be, or if it's going to be cloudy out, you know, or whatever. I don't always use a tinted sunscreen. Put it that way. This one's not cheap. It's $28. Oh, I think it's $29. I will say that I am a little bit disappointed. Um, they raise the price, which I understand everything is going up, but then they shrunk the bottle. I'm like, I got my new bottle. This is one that's almost gone because I had like a stack of them. I got the newest version. And I'm like, um, it's smaller. What happened? They raised the price and they shrunk it. It's like, okay, if you're going to raise the price, that's fine. But don't give me less product too. Go figure. I worked for a company that did that. Yeah. Years ago. Bummed me out big time. So um, I would definitely suggest trying some of the new tinted ones that are out there. I know there's a lot of them that have come out and I think people are trying to do that because physical sunscreens can leave a white cast. Now if you're putting makeup over it you're not going to notice that but if you're someone who doesn't you're just going to be out and about and you're not going to be putting makeup on over it you don't want to walk around with like a white cast all over your face. I mean seriously I don't. I don't think anybody really wants to have a white or ghostly look on their face. So tinted sunscreens to me are underrated just because, you know, people don't necessarily think about them. Like, oh, I'm putting sunscreen on, then I'm going to put my makeup on. But to me, using a tinted sunscreen, and I've talked about this before, I use less foundation. And so you get a less cakey or heavy look. I've got this tinted sunscreen on. It's going to absorb in. It's going to look nice. 
It evened my skin tone out quite a bit just by putting this on. So now I don't have to, I don't have to worry about putting a lot of extra full coverage foundation on because I've already got this. And there are days like on Saturdays when I'll just let this absorb in and then put some blush on. And that's it. I got my eyes done. I pretty much did like two colors, something in my crease and a shimmer on my lid, put some eyeliner and mascara on and I'm some eyebrows on and I'm good to go. We're not doing anything special today. So you know what? I didn't feel like getting all glammed up and someone asked me, one of my comments was, do you ever just do a one and done? This is pretty much a one and done. It's, well, it's two because I have a little bit of darker color in my crease, but not even that much darker. So this is a one and done look for my eyes. So thank you so much for joining me today. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. I love talking about skincare. I mean, just how we can save money. All of these products, none of them are super expensive. I mean, the sunscreen is $28. Most of the other ones are $10, $15, you know, $20. There are sunscreens out there that, um, uh, who is doing it? Uh, Jen Phelps is doing little shorts every day. She's trying out a new sunscreen every day for the month of June. And I think they're all physical sunscreens, but she's trying them out. And there's there have been some sunscreens that were like 50, 40 or $50. And I'm like, wow, for as much sunscreen as you've got to put on every day, it's not like your moist, your foundation where you put a little bit on. you got to put your two things on for this in your neck and everything. So you're going to go through it really fast. And in today's economy, we got to save money any way we can. So these are all products that are very reasonably priced and they're great for your skin. So I would highly recommend them. Thank you so much for joining me again today. If you have not already subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, give it a big thumbs up, and share it with your friend. Go out, have a wonderful blessed day, and I'll see you again in the next video.